Come on in, make yourself at home. Everybody's welcome at Kadoody, oh yeah. We're gonna sing and we're gonna read the word. All of it is worship when we do it for the Lord. Yeah. Clap your hands with me. Stomp your feet to the beat. Jump. Hi kiddos, I'm Kristen and I'm so glad you're here. We're in a series called Best Day Ever. What's the best day you've ever had? For many people in the Bible, their best day ever was the day they met Jesus. We're going to be learning about Jesus and why knowing him can make it the best day ever. Let's get started by practicing our big idea. That's the super important thing we're learning about today. Excuse me, but what's the big idea? The big idea is Jesus loves me. Kiddos, you don't have to do anything special for Jesus to love you. He always loves you no matter what. Well, now let's stand up and say the big idea together. I'll say a part first and you can repeat after me. Ready? The big idea. Jesus loves me. Great job, turn around. Now let's say the big idea all together in our super excited voices, ready? The big idea, Jesus loves me, yay! Way to go kiddos, turn around. Now let's say the big idea while we're running, ready? The big idea, Jesus loves me. Great, turn around. Now let's say the big idea one more time in our tweeting bird voices. Tweet, 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 tweet. The big idea, tweet, 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 tweet. Jesus loves me. Great job practicing the big idea, kiddos. You can sit down. The big idea is so important, we're going to say it throughout our time together. Whenever you see confetti and hear a cheering sound like this, yeah! it's time to say the big idea. Well, next, we're going to learn more by going on a Bible adventure. It's time for a Bible adventure. Oh, way, oh, oh, way, oh. Here we go. <laughs> the Bible is the greatest book ever. It's full of words from God. It also has true stories about people who met Jesus. Today, we get to read a story about a time when Jesus showed some kids like you that he loved them. While Jesus was on the earth, he was doing a lot of important things. He was teaching people all about God and showing them how much he loved them. Jesus was also doing miracles like healing people who were sick or hurt, walking on water, and feeding 5,000 people with a boy's lunch. One day, some parents decided to bring their children to see Jesus so he could bless them. When the disciples saw this, they tried to stop the parents. They said, stop bothering Jesus. He is busy doing important things and he should be spending time with important people. He doesn't have time to see your kids. When Jesus saw what was happening, he became angry with his disciples. Jesus said to them, let the children come over to me. Don't try to stop them. 
In fact, you should become more like these children if you want to be part of the kingdom of God. Jesus knew that children are humble and trusting. Then Jesus took the children in his arms and put his hand on their heads to bless them. Jesus would often stop to talk to people that others didn't think were very important. He spent time with people who had done wrong things, people who were hurt or sick, and people who were poor. Jesus showed every person that they were valuable and loved by him. Great listening! Can you imagine what it would have been like to have Jesus welcome you over to him? Jesus loved those kids in the story, and he loves you too. Yay! Oh, there's the confetti! That means it's time to say our big idea together. The big idea. Jesus loves me. Great. Well, now it's time to sing our memory verse song. Memory verse, memory verse, you can remember the memory verse, hey, hey! Hi kiddos, it's time to stand up and sing our memory verse song together. This verse comes from the Bible. It talks about how God loved us so much that he sent Jesus into the world. Anyone who believes in Jesus will get to live in heaven with him someday. Let's sing the verse together. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son. Anyone who believes in him will not die but will have eternal life. John 3.16 Great job kiddos, turn around. This time let's sing the verse again in our super quiet whisper voice. John 3.16 Great job! Turn around! Now let's sing the verse again in our super loud voices! Ready? God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son. Anyone who believes in him will not die but will eternal life. John 3.16 Super job practicing your memory verse. You can stay standing because now we're going to sing a song together all about how much Jesus loves us.
great singing. You can sit down. Yay! Oh, that confetti means it's time to say our big idea again. The big idea. Jesus loves me. Great job. Now it's time for us to try it out. Try it out. Try it out. Never know until you try it out. That's right. Hi, kiddos. We've been learning that Jesus loves us. Now it's time to try it out. Easter is coming in just a few weeks. It's a time to celebrate Jesus. Jesus died on a cross and came back to life so that we could be his friend forever. I've been getting ready to have a party to celebrate. So far, I've sent out invitations, I got some gifts for my friends, and I've been setting out some yummy food. Well, now it's time for my friends to come. I really want them to feel welcome and loved when they're here. I wonder how I can do that. Hmm. Our Bible adventure story was about some kids who felt really welcomed and loved. A group of kids wanted to go up to Jesus, but the disciples tried to stop them. The disciples thought Jesus was too important and too busy to talk to the kids. But Jesus said, let the children come to me. Don't try to stop them. And Jesus welcomed the children into his arms and showed them that they were important to him. Wow, can you imagine how those kids felt? First, they probably felt sad when the disciples told them to leave Jesus alone. But the sad day turned into the best day ever when Jesus welcomed them into his arms. I think they felt loved and important to Jesus. That's how Jesus feels about you too. Jesus is never bothered by you and never too busy. He wants to spend time with you and let you know how much he loves you. So if my friends come over and I just sit here at the table with a mad face and my arms crossed, is that helping them to feel welcome and loved? No. Instead, I could smile, welcome them, and spend time with them just like Jesus did. That's the doorbell. I better answer it. Well, hey, Freddy. I'm so glad you're here. I know you're new to the neighborhood. Welcome. I'm so glad that you came to my party. I can't wait to get to know you better. Well, kiddos, I'm going to spend time with Freddy the Fox as we wait for the other forest friends to arrive. But there's something I want you to remember. Jesus loves you so much. That's why he came to earth and why he died on a cross and came back to life. Jesus always has time for you and wants to be your friend forever. Now that's something to celebrate. So let's press our confetti button together on the count of three. One, two, three. Well, I can't wait to learn more about Jesus with you next time, kiddo. Let's keep celebrating that Jesus loves us by standing up and going Kid Wampus together. It's time for Kid Wampus. Let's go, Kid Wampus. It's time for Kid Wampus. Let's jump around a Kid Wampus. Singing it's time for Kid Wampus. Let's go, Kid Wampus. It's time for Kid Wampus. Let's jump around a Kid Wampus. Singing Kid Oh Wampus. Kid Oh Wampus. What? Kid Oh Wampus. Let's jump around a Kid Wampus. It's time for Animal Moves! Whenever an animal comes up on the screen, pretend that you are that animal. Ready? Go! 
Bunny rabbit. Do the worm. Gorilla. Rooster. Move like a turtle. Flop like a fish. Outstanding! That was a super fun kid of Wampus! You can sit down because now it's time to talk to God together. We can talk to God anytime and anywhere. God is always listening to you. If you want to, you can repeat this prayer after me. Dear God, we love you. Thank you for loving us. Help us to remember we are always loved by you. Amen. I've had so much fun with you today, kiddos. Remember, Jesus loves you so much and he wants to be your friend forever. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.